it's Carrie from Stretch Chi. Welcome back. Today's leg day. So we're going to do a stretch for your inner thighs groin stretch today. I actually had a client ask me for this one because he's getting ready to go horseback riding. He's like, I need a groin stretch. Fair enough, cowboy. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, you just embarked on a brand new journey. There's something you need to know. Kihara is a different type of stretching. It's resistance stretching. So you'll need to know a few things before you do this method. So first, before you do anything, just click that button. It says watch first, Kihara rules. Make sure you watch that video so that you know how to do this method and what our rules are before you get started. If you are returning or have done Kihara before, just remember the basics. Move, resist, and stop if it hurts. Now this stretch we're going to do is for your inner thighs. So you're going to sit in a butterfly position with your feet in front of you. Just like this. Your knees open to the side. And you'll take your arms and put them on top of your knees. So you have my forearms here on my knees. I'm going to push down and kind of sweep out with my arms. And my legs are going to push in at the same time. So you push up for strength. Your arms are resisting out the whole time, out this way. Then you use your arms to win, and you push back down. And you just come up for strength, and down for stretch. And back and forth, just like that. Up for strength, and down for stretch. Now we do about six to 10, but you can do as many as you want. When you get deep into the stretch at the bottom, you should feel a stretch right here in your groin muscles, right on the inner thighs. If you feel something different than that, like you could feel it on the outside of your hips, um, you could feel your glutes, you could feel your hamstrings or your knees on the outside, uh, or you may not feel anything at all. That means that this stretch is not working properly and you need to problem solve. Here's the trick though. Problem solving is actually really easy. You just have to know which stretches to do to unlock this muscle group. There's another muscle that's creating a barrier. So, what you'll do is go down to the description below. So like under this video, if you, uh, you might have to like make your screen smaller so that you actually see like the YouTube page. There's a little link down there in the description that says for a free problem solving video, click this link. And when you click that link, it's gonna take you to a form. You just throw in your email and then you get the link to the problem solving video. Do that video and then come back to this one. And you'll notice that you will feel it differently. Either you'll feel it on your inner thighs or that pain will be gone. You might get a little bit more rotation. You might get a little bit more range of motion. It might just feel better. So it's worth it to try out that problem solving video. So go ahead and look down below and see if you can find it. Um, also, if you're not a subscriber, check over here and click that little box. If you push the subscription box, it's gonna put these videos right in your subscription folder so it's really easy to find. And also, if you click the bell notification, you'll get reminders to stretch twice a week. When I put out these videos, it'll send you a little notification. It's like, hey, Carrie posted a video. And you'll get a little reminder so you don't forget to stretch. How great is that? All right, that's all I got. I'll see you guys Wednesday for Arm Day. Have a good one.